Let's make it a good day. Back to the show, everybody. Kicking off a brand new week. A little yam house. Mm-hmm. We love the guys. Follow them on social media. Well, it wasn't the greatest uh, weather this weekend. Oh, it was. It was just ugh. ugh. But it seems many of you stayed busy on our Instagram page. I asked you to describe your weekend. 61% of you said it was busy. Well, this is my, these are my people. 39% said they never left their couch. Good for you. That's, the, that's a great weekend. Those are your people. Those are my people. You just lay on the couch and you watch show after show after show. I've been watching Restaurant Impossible on the Discovery Plus app. I love that show. I love a good makeover. I was going to ask, is that the one where they have restaurants in really cool locations that aren't doing well? Yeah, it could be in any location, but Robert okay. Irvine, he's the, he's the big dude. He's, he's what? Let's get busy! I think that's his line or something. I don't know. Scary. He, it's very scary. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our handle is Jason Show TV. Thanks. We do appreciate you following us. Well, it was obvious many of you stayed busy because on our Facebook page, I asked you uh, to show us your weekend as well, and here are the results. First up, Amy took my recommendation to check out Hope Breakfast Bar in St. Paul to celebrate her birthday, and she says it did not disappoint. Amazing lunch. I'm glad that worked out, Amy. Many others celebrated birthdays this weekend. Allison celebrated her birthday and the one-week adoptiversary of her dog, Mr. Patches. Nancy celebrated her grandson's second birthday with a mouse house party. And Jennifer celebrated her husband's 50th with this cake from Something Sweet by Maddie Lou. Some of you cooked and baked this weekend. Nicole says this was the first time she's made homemade eggs Benedict, and they were delicious, and they look great too. Jennifer made a seafood boil for the very first time. I would like some of that. Roxanne made a birthday cake with a brownie layer, chocolate layer, and a caramel peanuts and Snickers topping. Love that. Dee Dee whipped up this cake for a cute one-year-old. And Deborah made better than sex cake. She says it was delicious. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Many people went on a road trip to the North Shore. Our buddy Christopher Straub visited Duluth and Split Rock Lighthouse. He said it was rainy and chilly, but still so beautiful. Tiffany got daughter and niece some caramel apples in Canal Park. Jenny went up to Duluth for the day and got a special treat. And Amy celebrated with a getaway to Lake Superior. Spring in Minnesota means getting the dock ready. Veronica and her family did just that at their cabin. We did as well. Courtney thought it was a nice weekend to paint her house, but the paint ended up being mistinted, and now she has a big old mess. Patty went to a favorite TV or movie character party dressed as Bridgerton. I love that. Nicole and her husband went to the Twins game on Saturday. And finally, Amy says they introduced their kids to pull tabs. She won a dollar, but lost it on the next card. I know the feeling. Believe me. I know the feeling. You know it. That happened this weekend. It did? It did. Mm. We were, uh, went to the Pine Brook. I mm-hmm. uh, named it a best thing ever in between Princeton and Cambridge. Mm-hmm. And uh, first pull, one. One a nice one, two big winners right off the top. Yeah. That's the way you do it. Uh-huh. And Saturday we decided to go back out. And we lost it all? I won't say. <gasps> but let's just say it wasn't a profitable endeavor. I'm sorry. But you know what? As we say, you can't put a price on fun. I, you can, I, I, though, I and it was really expensive. But it was, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a good time. It was, uh, yeah. It we was made the good. most of it. We made the most of it. Good people up there in Princeton and Cambridge. I love them. They're in the Pine Brook and Highway Inn and Neighbors. I'm listing all my favorite places. And the finish line. And Shooters. Love the Shooters. That's the, I've named literally every the bar in, in Princeton and Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> Good people up there. We love you. We're going to take a break, everybody. We're going to wrap things up when we come back. Back in a moment. <laughs> Neighbors. There's another one. The Legion. I love it. 